In this video, you'll learn how to create a bonded specimen ready for bond strength testing. The steps you'll see in this video conform to the latest ISO standards for bond strength testing. We'll be demonstrating a self-etch technique using the Peak Universal Adhesive System. If you prefer a total etch technique or a different adhesive system, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Once you have your methacrylate base formed, with the cut tooth embedded in it, dry the specimen with half air pressure at a distance of one centimeter, leaving the surface slightly damp. Apply Peak SE Primer to the damp specimen for 15 seconds. Blow off excess primer and or use high volume suction. No visible puddles should exist. Apply a complete puddled coat of Peak Universal Bond, agitating into the dentin for 15 seconds. Thin the adhesive with half air pressure at one centimeter for 10 seconds until it looks like there is a thin, uniform layer of saran wrap over the surface. Light cure for 10 seconds with Velo in standard power mode, as close as possible without touching the surface. If using a curing light other than Velo, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Place the specimen into the bonding clamp with the mold centered directly over the dentin of the tooth. Gently tighten the thumb nuts until they lightly press onto the springs. Fill the mold three quarters full with composite. Do not fill above the beveled edge of the mold. Light cure for 20 seconds with Velo in standard power mode. Loosen the thumb nuts. Hold down the cured composite with an instrument while lifting the gold top of the clamp. If there is excess flash from the base of the composite, remove it with a razor blade. The bonded specimen is now ready to be tested. For more information, visit ultradent.com or call 800-552-5512.